school. Uh, every morning, I have to wake up 6.45 in the morning and then walk up this not so steep hill. And then a steep hill up to school. Um, I guess it's pretty good exercise in the morning. You know, breathe, breathe fresh air. wakes you up because now I know it's summer but um you know it's already pretty cool in Vancouver oh last station <laughs> well I probably show you the steep hill I told you about but I'm just gonna skip this part and um see you at school So obviously I won't be filming as much when I'm in class because um, well the school doesn't allow it and it's kind of awkward to film in class. So So uh, hey ego Okay So yeah uh, I'll probably film us when I'm eating lunch I can show you where the, um, I would say where most of the Chinese eat lunch. Um, sorry, where most of the Asian eat lunch. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a territory much, but uh, we do have a kind of uh, group where um, they stay together and eat lunch together. Um, so that's uh, my school cafeteria and um, I'm now heading to the first class um, first class of the year drafting and design 12 <sighs> oh, there you can see my reflection okay so this is our tech wing um, we have uh, three campuses in this school in total. Uh, North campus, the one I'm in now. The tech building, which is this building here. And then the South campus for grade eight to grade, um, grade 10. Okay. school like this chair right here 
did this so that the most comfortable chair in the whole school. Okay, anyways, so you know, first day I have nothing to, to do, so I went up online and searched up um, a list of vocabulary for me to study on my own. And um, I don't know, I just ripped them out of, right out of Google and I just searched up SAT vocabulary for grade 12 because I figure it's going to be quite important to know um, more vocabularies um, uh, more vocabularies in grade 12 uh, because it's good for your English and um, yeah and if you if in the future videos you see this pen here you can see it's wrapped up in duct tape that's I told people that um, it's good for the group, but um, not really because I use it to practice my dot fold draw. Um, I try penetrating the cardboard with my pen. I'm just sitting, I'm just sitting, you know, sitting on my desk, spinning my pen, and then suddenly I just came up with the ideas. I was like, hey, can I throw this? And then I threw it, and it worked. But so I threw it a couple more times, and then bam, it hit the wall and missed the target. And uh, yeah, that's, that's why I stuck tape on it. But um, yeah, other than that, uh, it's pretty, pretty boring here. So I'm just gonna get back on my studying. Oh my god. Oh, there's no free lunch in the world. Okay, so yeah. Hi guys, it's Highlander here, and um, today I went to my first day of school, well yesterday was my first day of school, but today I went to my first day with the full time class because yesterday was only, um, yesterday was only like 8 minutes per class, just to have you get a feel of what your teacher look, teachers looks like, um, you know, get, get let you to know where your classroom are, to see who is in your class, uh, stuff like that. So, but um, today was actually the full time classes, where it's like an hour, uh, one and a half hour long, and you know, just to go over the curriculum, the expectation, uh, what it would look like to put the year. Um, yeah, but uh, today was pretty, pretty normal, uh, pretty quiet. Um, at the drafting class, uh, the video I showed before. There was actually a lot of people, the whole classroom was full, which I was surprised because um, it was uh, a fence design and then I thought, you know, it's quite a, uh, you know, no one would take that course, but no, apparently a lot of people like that course. So I was uh, pretty surprised, uh, shocked by that. Um, also another thing is, uh, oh yes, I got my um, uh, course schedule yesterday, but I'm not going to show you guys, but oh, here you go. Um, let's see. So this is my course. Uh, drafting design, working experience, English, IP math, IP Mandarin, physics, IP history, chemistry, work chance, and then I also took uh, orchestra and, um, and uh, what's it called? entrepreneurship 12. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna be a fun year. Um, even if it's you know, even if uh, it's a bit busy, if it's a bit hard, uh, I'll take it. I'll enjoy it because this is the last year of my high school. As I mentioned it a thousand times yesterday, but um, yeah, and also, um, I forgot to show you two. Is uh, I I did make a crossbow. Not that it really matters much, but this is a functional crossbow with just a uh, rubber band, a um, stabilizer, which um, is really basically a. Uh, um, it's one of those things they can find in your garage, in, in the garbage. I didn't find this one in the garbage though. I didn't steal it either. So uh, this one is actually a roll of paper, but it's not one of those receipt roll. That you uh, you can find in the supermarket. Um, yeah, I just took it home and then use it as stabilizer. This thing right here, this dot right here, um, actually was uh, first built for this. It's what first you can insert the thing here, push it in, and then you pull this back, and then you can shoot it out 
by here you just release it like this slight push forward release it if you hold it this too um, if you hold if you squeeze it this thing here will stand up 90 degrees so that the rubber the rubber band won't shoot but um later I found out that you know uh, I can sh I can throw better with my hand than shooting with a uh, crossbow so you know I just decided to throw my crossbow and mark 3 uh, because this is Mark 3. I added more penetration power. Um, yeah. Um, but uh, other than that, I did got a. I, I just went to Staple and I bought myself a binder, a history binder, just for the history class. Uh, I'm pretty excited for this history class. I can show you. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, history class. Uh, you know, we talk about World War One, World War Two. Something you wouldn't really want to know about. I don't want to talk about it at, at home. Although it's pretty fun, though. If you're not in grade 12 or grade 11, I suggest you take it. Um, geography, yeah, sure it's fun. You color maps. You you know label the maps. You write essay about maps. Maybe I'm wrong. I've never taken it before. If you take geo geography, geology. I'm sorry, geology. If you think geology, okay, I'm sorry. I'm a history guy. I'm more like, because history is more like story, and I really like stories. But other than that, um, I do, I'm, I am wondering though, like, you see this cover right here? I used to have this thing. Hi guys, I'm um, sorry that it cut off uh, there because, um, there was some technical difficulties but uh, as I was saying that this is my history binder and um, I don't know I just bought a staple today it's pretty neat it got this little file over here and then that's you know just enough space for 180 page workbook and some paper at the end but yeah so I was saying that uh, I took um, the flyer out from here and I want to add something in it just so what I have in mind now is a maybe a Stalin face right here or a Hitler face because you know it'd be funny uh, that's what my teacher did, does in class he uh, he posts a picture of you know um, um, a historical, historical figure just right on the wall and then you know uh, we would every time we, we get noisy he'll be like be quiet the teachers uh, I mean sorry um, Stalin is looking at you or still is looking at you something like that so I think it's pretty cool and um, yeah um, just finish this little bit I have to record my room because uh, my uh, family came back so uh, I'm not ready to uh, in introduce them to you guys yet so I'm gonna do that in the future maybe and but for now it's just me and you me and my future self and uh you know welcome to welcome to stick on uh hop on um hang around but until then i this is it for today and um stay in tune stay awesome <laughs>